look at the lunar module behind him. Look at how wonky this looks compared to what we know we sent to the moon. I've seen this picture before. I forget what center it is, but it's JFK giving a talk about Apollo. So that got me down this like weird mini rabbit hole where I was like, let me find old pictures of the lunar module and like, look at this thing. Look at this thing. It was all bubbly. It was full of windows. The idea was to give the astronauts as much visibility as possible. And one of the challenges is that the rendezvous around the moon after the landing, they were going to be kind of like flying and looking through the roof to see the command module to do that rendezvous. And they needed a window they needed to be able to see. So all of these windows were designed to give them as much visibility so that they would know what they were in for and they could see everything, whether it's landing on the moon or getting back in connection with their command module. It was only after they realized that windows, and especially this many windows, are really, really heavy, like prohibitively heavy when we're dealing with spaceflight, that they change the shape and put in these little triangular windows that when the astronaut is standing, because he doesn't actually need a shock absorbing seat, legs are really good shock absorbers in one sixth gravity, these little triangular windows gave him as much visibility as he needed. And all of a sudden, the lunar module completely took on a different shape. But I love these early designs. They're kind of wild.